Good morning, guys. So the husband didn't get home until like 11.30 something last night. But he brought me a little treat back from Ocean City. And it was actually the lady he was staying with in like the awesome house. These really cool like pearl and shell earrings. And they're absolutely mermaid-esque. So I really like, like them. I'm hiccuping. <laughs> I just woke up. I gotta bring the trash in. Last Sunday I woke up so much earlier. This Sunday not so much. I'm actually really tired. <laughs> but I'm gonna make a green juice for breakfast. And I really need to get new tennis shoes. We'll see. <sighs> I'm gonna start the day off with a green juice. Um, I don't think I'll put any fruit in it this time, so let's try it out. Usually I add an apple or a lemon or something just to sweeten it up, but I don't think I am today. So let's see if I can handle the green. I picked a couple of my beets pretty early, so that's why they're so little, but I can use the greens on them, so they're not going to be too, like, tart, which will be a good thing since they're such little baby beets still. Well, it's time to start juicing, so I got my huge bowl of juice I'm going to make. And this is going to be my breakfast this morning, and maybe a cup of yogurt. We'll see. Tell me that's not a pretty juice. Gorgeous. All I need to do is add some chia seeds, and we'll be good to go. All right, my beautiful juice is ready to drink. Look at how gorgeous this is. I'm really excited. It's really red from those small little beets. But that's okay. It's going to be absolute delicious. Mmm. I put some chia seeds on top. And everything was in the refrigerator. So it has a bit of a chill to it, which is perfect. I like You know, a couple of vlogs back, I was trying to make bread. I forget for what. I think I was trying to make buns or something for a recipe for me and my husband. Oh, Chick-fil-A. That's what he wanted. I was trying to make bread for Chick-fil-A sandwiches and my yeast was not activating. So I was following someone's recipe. I'm going to talk about this fast. I was trying to follow someone's recipe. They told me to activate my yeast with milk. Didn't work. Um, it, I brought it up to temperature. I did exactly what they said, blah, 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 blah. Now remember guys, I went to culinary school, so I'm not a complete dummo about cooking. Um, but obviously milk and yeast don't always go together. Just when activate it so I thought maybe something's wrong with my yeast because his is working perfectly fine and I think it was just the recipe my yeast would not do its thing so today I'm like I'm gonna try this out it's bubbled up it's doing awesome it smells like yeast in my house smells like bread in my house I don't know what else to tell you anytime you want to activate yeast do water and sugar I promise you one cup of water about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of sugar that yeast is going to fluff right up, it's going to activate, and you're going to be good to go to make your breads, your cakes, your muffins, whatever you're going to make with that yeast that day, you're good to go. So I'm going to make the bread, I'm going to go get dressed. My husband texted me, he said he wants sweet potato chips with the hamburgers. I'm dethawing some frozen hamburgers so I can marinate them, because the frozen hamburgers are pretty, pretty nasty. Um, but if you marinate them, they taste a lot better, and... Uh, we just got to get rid of them so we can go back to normal hamburgers. We thought, oh, this would be such an easy idea, but they're horrible. Absolutely nasty. But we can't waste them. So let's get started. I just got back from the grocery store. So I'm putting my keys away. And I got to start his wet laundry because he went swimming a lot. I haven't thrown that in. But so since my husband is so adamant, I make chips or... I absolutely hate onion rings, but he likes them. So I got myself a candy thermometer. And then also I can make fudge with it and uh, other treats. So I thought that should be cool. It was only $4. And I think if I take care of it, it should last a while. OMG. Well, I got to go back to the store. This is the broken one. Be back. Back, it literally took me 10 minutes. That's how fast I got. So I went in there, picked the new one out. And walked up to the front register in a huge line. So then I walked over to customer service. And I'm like, I bought this um, just like five minutes ago. I took it home and it was broken already before I even took it out of the package. Like you saw, it was still in the package. 
and I'm like, I want this one instead. They're like, okay, throw it on the counter. So I literally just chucked it on the counter and left. And so before I start the sweet potatoes, I noticed my dough has risen double in size. It's so hard to see with this camera. Let's turn that light on. It makes a difference a little bit. So I'm just gonna leave this out for probably 10 more minutes before I punch it down. Then I'm gonna make the little bread loaves. And when I was there, I was looking to see if they had any like poppy seeds or sesame seeds, and they did. And for this little package with 75 cents, I'm like, I can't beat that, I gotta buy that. So that was perfect. For lunch, I'm actually gonna have some Mickey Mouse chicken nuggets. How grown up. I've had those in the freezer for months now, but I usually only eat them when I'm in a quick gist and the husband's gonna be home a little later, so more like a lunch slash snack. So I got my chips done, seasoned with a little salt. Then I made my mixture of Parmesan, sugar, salt, and some oregano to put on top once they come out. My temperature is rising to 350, then I'm gonna pop about six in at a time. Stir them constantly while they're in there, just so they don't stick together. Put them on here, drain them, and sprinkle them. So, should be good. I thought I'd show you why I'm waiting for my oil, what these are doing. They're puffing up a little bit, but they probably have another hour to go. And then that should put me around 3.30. The husband should be around here 4, 4.30. So I can put the hamburgers either on the grill or I'm going to put them on the skillet. And our sweet potato chip should be done cooling off. And I'll stick them in the oven on broil for like 10 seconds just to heat them up real fast and then serve them so I'll have hot chips and hamburgers. Sorry about my finger. I made my first round of chips which I already ate them and I need to put them in longer but to me this just, ooh they're hot, to me this just looks burnt but if I don't put them in longer then they're like kind of like soft so I don't know we'll see. We'll see how this turns out. The husband might never ask me to make sweet potato chips again. <laughs> right, so my sweet potato chips are actually coming out really good. Listen, did you hear that? They're just, they're crunchy. Yum, it's gonna be so good. I have my last bit of uh, sweet potato chips cooking and then this is kind of the final product. That's like a whole bag of chips I feel like. And then I'm going to have the hubs, which is over there. He came home way earlier than I thought he'd be here. So I don't have the buns in the oven. But I don't got buns, hon. But that's okay. Because they only take 15 minutes. And the meat is still dissolving in the fridge. Because I didn't think he'd be home till like 4. But the chip should be good. He should be happy that I made him. <laughs> Alright. Hank is going to do the taste test. And see what he thinks of the chip. Good. Oh, he must like it. He's going for seconds. Alright, those are for dinner. He's playing some weird Yu-Gi-Oh game or something on the iPad. I'm not really sure. Alright, as you can see, my buns are covered in little some poppy seeds or some sesame seeds I mean and the oven is heating up I gotta wait for this oil to cool down before I throw it out but yeah they're gonna cook for I guess 15 minutes and we'll see how they go and we'll put the burgers on the grill a little later since the hub's not hungry so good thing I ate that snack earlier I'd be starving as you can tell my buns are done and they actually turned out Pretty awesome. So dinner is ready. That's what I made. So you can tell mine is just the one with a ton of veggies and his is just two patties with cheese and the chips. Should be delicious. So my husband finished the sweet tea off and I feel like I just made that like yesterday or two days ago. So I'm gonna make some more tea. And I think that's seven packets. I want it a little stronger than it has been the last two times. I've been using four the first time, five the second time. Tip to making really good sweet tea is a pinch of baking soda. This helps the color and the flavor. Ooh, I did exfoliating treatment. That's why my face is so red. But my husband always hangs his pants up on that when you first come in. And it annoys the crap out of me. Because it's making my wall dirty. So I got this commando hook. Um, a while ago and this was for like pots and pans but it did oh it was for my broom but it didn't work so I'm gonna put this on the inside of the bedroom door so we can hang them inside because it's so much easier to wipe down the doors 
than it is paint on the wall. So let's give this a try. So I was looking online and I found the instructions to put the command hooks on. So you're supposed to leave them up there without putting anything for a half hour, but literally we're not going to put anything heavier up there than like probably four pounds. So I think it's okay. But now I can close his pants out of the way instead of them sitting in the front. And he's already in bed, but he's playing on his iPad. You want to say anything, Hanky? No. Well, I guess he wants to go to bed. He found this like Yu-Gi-Oh game, like I said earlier, online. But he's playing. And I took a shower and closed that up. And all the cats are laying down. They're taking their cat nap before, you know, 9, 30, 10 o'clock tonight when they go on a rampage and run around the house and cry. But I think that's really all I'm going to do. I'm going to watch that, the horror show that I like, and call it a night. The house is clean. The laundry's done. Um, the cat just kind of just wants squishy food. That's why Maddie's following me everywhere I go. But I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you guys have any tips, definitely thumbs up and talk to me about it. Or if you guys want me to talk about anything in vlogs or if you have other ideas for more videos that you'd like to see, I am totally up for it. All right. Oh, I got to put cat water, more cat food. They have water, but they get it so dirty, so I have to change it every day. All right. Bye, guys.